Hi everyone, it's Rachel, and in the spirit of tennis season and the Australian Open just wrapping up, I thought in today's video I will teach you how to create a kawaii tennis cat using polymer clay. So let's get started. So to begin, we're going to create the tennis ball. So take some bright green clay and roll it between the palms of your hands to create a nice sphere. We are then going to add some texture to our tennis ball. So here I am using a toothbrush and I'm just gently patting this over top of the clay. You can also see that I have my piece of clay resting on some sandpaper. And this is so that the other side is textured as well and doesn't go flat from my work surface. Once you're happy with it, you can then take a dotting tool or a ball tool and we're going to kind of carve out where our white strips are going to be. So here you can see that I'm just gently pushing my ball tool into the clay to create a bit of an indent. If you lose any texture while doing this, you can of course go back and retexture any spots that you need to. At this point, I went ahead and I baked my tennis ball in my oven just for five minutes to harden the clay slightly, and this makes it much easier to work with when adding the cat design onto it. So moving on to the cat, take whatever color clay you would like. My cat is going to be white. Roll a ball of clay for the head, and then we're going to create the body by rolling another ball of clay into a teardrop shape on our work surface, and then trimming off the very top part with our blade so that we have a flat space to work with. To help attach my unbaked clay onto my baked tennis ball, I'm going to be using some Sculpey Bacon Bond, which is a liquid clay. So I'm just applying that straight onto the tennis ball and then attaching on my cat's body as well as the head. You can use one of your tools to blend the edges to make it nice and secure. Next, we are going to create the ears. So shape a diamond using your base color and then attach on a smaller pink diamond before then cutting this in half so that you end up with two even sized triangles for the ears. Position them on the head where you would like them and then blend down the edges. Now moving on to the face, create two indents where you would like the eyes to go and then place in two balls of black clay. For the mouth, attach two small U-shapes of black clay together in the center and then also add a little nose on top. And then you can finish off the face by attaching on some whiskers on either side. Next, we are going to create the little sweatbands for our cat. So I'm going to be using this purple colored clay, but you can really use whatever color you like. And I'm just rolling this into a snake on my work surface before then flattening it down slightly with my rolling pin. I'm starting off by attaching the sweatband around my cat's head. So here you can see that I'm just slowly working it all the way around and then trimming off any excess clay. To give the sweatband a nice fluffy looking texture, I am using my needle tool and I'm just gently swirling this around in the clay. And again, I'm doing this all the way around the band. To create your cat's legs, take some more of the color that you used for the body and roll four small teardrop shapes on your work surface. Once I had done that, I then attached on some of the purple clay on two of these teardrops and I'm making the little sweatbands on the cat's paws. Just like with the one around the head, I'm wrapping the purple all the way around and then trimming off any excess clay. I then decided to add these legs onto the tennis ball before texturing because I thought it would be a lot easier to actually texture the sweatbands while it was attached to the rest of the design. I then moved on to attaching the two back legs as well, just hanging off the side of the tennis ball, and then also adding a curly looking teardrop shape for the tail at the back. If you'd like to make your design into a charm, go ahead and add an eye pin at this point, and then it's time to bake your clay in your oven according to your package's instructions. 
After baking, I took some super glue and I used this to secure the eye pin into the clay. And then it was time to add the white design onto the tennis ball. So here I'm using just some regular white acrylic paint and a really thin paintbrush just to paint that on. And I added a few layers to build up the color. I also forgot to film it, but I glazed the whole charm once the paint was dry to make it look nice and shiny and then also seal in the paint as well. So here is what my kawaii tennis cat looks like once it's completely finished. I love how clean this charm looks and also the different textures as well with of course the tennis ball and the sweatband. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys.